Wow, Rob here. Just heard this song Whitney Houston collaborated with Jordan Sparks and Title Celebrate. I really liked it. I thought it was very good. I mean, if you enjoyed it also, hit the like button. Give me your comments. And if you're going to see the movie Sparkle, also hit the like button. And, you know, I love the title of that song, Celebrate. We all celebrated Whitney Houston's life while she was on the earth with us. And now we're going to celebrate her life when we go to see her in heaven as she sings in the heavenly choir. And, you know, there's a controversy, a debate, is Whitney in heaven, is she not? Come on, man. Two days before she passed on, she sang the lullaby, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. You know, God doesn't really judge us according to our behavior, though that's obviously important. He judges us according to our faith. And, you know, it's no secret. Whitney Houston loved the Lord. She had Christ in the center of her heart. <clears throat> she just was overtaken due to some propensities, some weaknesses, some failure. And isn't that all of us generally under the sound of my voice? I mean, come on, man. If you could bat a thousand, what was the reason for the cross and also grace? You know, God trusted and he trusts all of us with our limps in life. We all have a limp every now and then. And, you know, she lost the battle, but she is with God in heaven. <clears throat> she won the war. And, you know, God had a mighty plan for Whitney Houston's life. Was it aborted? Was it cut short? We all know that's the truth. We all know, you know, she did succumb to some type of weakness. But the reality is, is we all do. And the reality is, is Christ loves you. He loves Whitney Houston. He loves Jordan Sparks. One of the girls in the movie, Tika Sumter, actually used to attend a church in New York, and she's in the upcoming movie, Sparkle. So, friends, you know the scripture. The book of John, third chapter, 16th verse, simply states, For God so loved the world, friends, that's everybody, that he gave his only son, Jesus, that if you would believe in Christ, you wouldn't perish, you'd have everlasting life. And, hey, the only way that you're assured the elevator's going up when you take your last breath and not down to the basement where there's fire insurance is to have Christ in the center of your heart. And he comes by invitation only. He's not going to knock the door down in your heart. You know, again, sometimes our behavior may not line up, but if our heart's right, God judges us according to our faith. If you've never accepted Jesus, man, today's the day of salvation. Bible says tomorrow's promise to no man. Certainly <clears throat> don't be caught dead without Jesus. You don't want you want to go up to the elevator where, the, where there's life insurance, friends. He comes by invitation only. Say this prayer with me. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. Hey, if you want to subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube, hit the subscribe button. Also, have many of the Christian preaching, teaching, ministry videos via YouTube. The search Rob Wood 1, R O B B Wood, the number one, where I do talk about, discuss, relevate. Talk about Christianity, the Bible, heaven, hell, angels, demons, eternity. And hey, eternity is without end. We're spiritually created beings. When you take your last breath, you won't die. You will live forever. And how long is eternity? Is it a billion years? Is it a billion times a billion years? Again, friends, we're spiritually created beings. We will never die. Either we go up with Jesus or we go down where you don't want to go, man. But Christ loves you. He's got a mighty plan for your life. In fact, in the book of Jeremiah... 29th chapter 11th verse simply states, God has a plan for you, plans for hope and a future, plans for an expected end. Again, if you enjoyed this song, Whitney Houston, Jordan Sparks, celebrate, hit the like button, give me your comments, be blessed, the Lord loves you in Jesus' name.